In this video, we'll explore the scanner methods. I'm going to create a new project. Scanner methods. I'm going to delete the comments. So right after the package definition, let's import our scanner. Import java.util.scanner semicolon. Inside the main method, we're going to instantiate the scanner class. I'm going to say scanner and then let's call it as C equals new and then the scanner constructor method scanner parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we'll supply the keywords system dot in semicolon. So first, let's take a look at the method for accepting strings. I'm going to declare a string variable. I'm going to call it msg equals sc and then we'll access the methods dot next line parentheses semicolon and then we'll print out the message system dot out dot print line in the parentheses we're going to write msg build and run input some text press enter it's gonna repeat the input so to make our program more user friendly let's add some uh, instructions so before we ask for the input let's print some instructions system dot out dot print line this will be a string message, so our message will be inside a pair of double quotes. We're going to say, enter your message. So now if we build and run, it's going to tell the user what to input. Right. So as you can see, our input goes to the next line. What we want to do is be able to input right after the instruction. Instead of using print ln or print line, I'm just gonna use print. So by doing this, once we build and run, it's gonna allow us to input right next to the message. I'm gonna say, how are you? If I press enter, it's gonna repeat the same message. So next, let's try the method for accepting integers. I'm gonna copy the print statement, gonna paste it here this time let's ask for a number enter a number i'm going to declare an integer variable i'm going to call it num1 equals we'll use the scanner object again as c dot this time we'll use next int okay and then I'm going to duplicate the print line statement and print out num1. So let's build and run. First, it's going to ask for the message. Hi. Then it's going to ask for a number. Five. It's going to print both those variables. Next, let's uh, use the flow data type. So I'm just simply going to copy and paste these two lines like this we're going to say enter a decimal value let's modify this line it should be float we'll give it a different name num2 instead of next int we'll use next float and we'll print out num2 build and run now it's going to ask for three things first is a message hello there Next is a number and a decimal value, and it's going to print all those out. Let's use a double data type. I'm going to simply copy this print statement. We're going to say enter another decimal value, and then right after that, we'll declare a double variable, call it num3. Close. Again, we're going to use sc dot next 
double parentheses semicolon and let's print out num3 again i'm just going to copy and paste the print line statement and change the variable name let's build and run so now it's going to ask for four inputs first is a message next is a number and then a decimal value 3.2 another decimal value 9.14 and it's going to print all of those out so let's try the char data type so for the char data type i'm going to start from scratch i'm going to delete everything except for the first two lines the scanner instantiation statement and our print statement i'm going to say enter anything the syntax for getting characters is a little different so i'm going to declare a char variable i'm going to call it symbol equals sc dot this time we're going to use next parentheses dot char at parentheses and inside the parentheses it's going to ask for an integer value by default it's set to zero semicolon and finally we're going to output symbol so let's build and run so the char data type only accepts one character but by using the char at method it's going to allow you to take a string input like this but it's only going to take a single character from this string if i press enter it's going to return d so the char at method accepts an integer value so this integer value refers to the character index in our example, we have the word dog. Each characters are stored in an index, and the index starts with zero. So index zero will give us D, index one will give us O, index two will give us G, so on and so forth. So let's try that. I'm gonna say car at one, build and run. Let's enter cats. So index zero is C, index one is a index two is t so since we put car at index one it should return the character a so let's press enter and it indeed returns a let's try that one more time index two build and run now if i enter a series of characters like this the first symbol is index zero one two if i press enter it's going to return the dollar symbol. In the future lessons, we'll use the scanner for accepting inputs. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.